Ready? Ready to go? <laughs> what a nice day! Sunshine! Yes! Oh oh! This is me, Gary! Oh, yeah. Today's episode, we're going to start you out with a little journey to a very cool place that's just to the west of Linton Bay Marina. I've been through this area a couple times before, and there's a small mangrove area that connects one of the outer islands to the mainland, and it connects two bays from the town of Linton Bay over to the next marina called Panamarina. Marina. It's a very unique experience and Madalena's never seen it yet and neither has the new crew, so sounds like a great way to start a sunny day. We'll be looking forward to testing all that. It'll be interesting one for dinghy rides. This will be our normal cruising speed. Okay. But this speed in that electric dinghy, we should get about a 40 mile range, which we would never use, unless we're lost at sea. <laughs> Yeah, now it's shallow, but can't see it. Yeah. Okay, oh, oh, oh. Oh, uh, it seems pretty level. Oh, watch out, Rocky here. It seems pretty level here. You got about two feet. As you can see, it's just a very thin river of seawater right between the outer island and the mainland, connected by two rows of mangroves that seem to grow a roof right over the top. Aptly, it's named the Tunnel of Love. So let's see if it works its magic today. Jungle, baby. <laughs> 
So by now I'm sure you're wondering, hey, who's the new crew? Well, this is Megan and Alex from Canada and the US. And we met them a couple weeks ago on a meet and greet here in Panama. It's gonna be so much better with an electric motor. Yeah, it'd be super quiet. It's gonna be good. They were in Panama to find a start to their next adventure, sailing. So I guess you could say they found it. But you don't need to hear it from me. Let's hear from them. So you must be wondering who we are. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> My name is Megan. And I'm Alex. <laughs> That's all. I, what? I don't know what to do now. What? So you must be wondering who we are. Hi everyone. Hi. <laughs> I'm Megan. And I'm Alex. <laughs> um, I'm originally from New Orleans, Louisiana. And I'm from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. We actually met in Montreal. Yeah. Of all places. At a nice little vegan restaurant, all you can eat. Yeah, it was awesome. I was actually in Montreal. I had been there for a few years and I was working as a theater artist. My first career was actually in opera singing and then I spent some time doing more musical theater. During that time I was doing some film work for a, a little while and then I transitioned into therapy and now I'm transitioning again. Actually on our first date uh, I went in and I told him that I really loved the ocean and that I had done a little bit of sailing in the past and I was working more as crew and I only did it a few times but I really liked it and so I told him I really want to go sailing with somebody how do you feel about boats I just responded I love boats and actually I grew up pretty much kind of on a boat uh, my parents had a uh, Beneteau 33 foot on Lake Champlain while I was growing up. So every spring, summer, and fall, we were on the boat nonstop almost. And uh, I didn't like any of it. I didn't like any moment of it. I just complained a lot. But the instant that it stopped, I started missing it. And now. And uh, many, many years later, it has grown into very much an obsession and a passion. We pretty much fell in love at first sight when we saw each other. And then when we started talking about sailing and how we both want to own a boat and travel around the world together, that pretty much sealed the deal. <laughs> and that was around four years ago. We've been married for three years. And we'll make four years together in November. Yes. And yeah, so now you're probably wondering how we got here. Exactly. I thought it was a short distance, not the really long canal. You scared? You nervous? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the map. For the natives to attack. <laughs> The tunnel of love needs some time to work its magic.
So how did we get from there to here? We wanted to live cruising life as fast as possible, but we didn't really have the budget and we didn't exactly know how since we were both somewhat experienced but really kind of new to all this. Mostly new. <laughs> very, very new. We started with a thing that we, that we could, which was to, oddly enough, get Panamanian permanent residency. <laughs> But then the great COVID times happened and therefore everything changed and everything got stopped. And so we just put it on the back burner until we heard that Panama basically was cutting off the Friendly Nations visa program. And this was our last chance to basically get in. So we said, nope. We are doing this. We weren't we going to miss that opportunity. <laughs> no, we are going to do this now, no matter what it takes. Mm -hmm. And so we did. We did all the paperwork. We went through all the bureaucracy, made it by the very skin of our teeth. Yeah. But we got it. We got the little cards. Mm -hmm. We got it. We only had a few days left in Panama and we were planning to go back to Canada. We had a flight mm -hmm. and everything. Let's make some friends. So we go online and we start meeting very interesting people <laughs> two of which start emailing us and tell us all about their boat and how they might need crew yeah it was really exciting because when we first started talking we didn't know what was going to happen and when we found out they had a boat maybe we can learn something from them about what it's like to live as a couple on a boat and travel the world together absolutely so it was a fantastic experience except we just thought these were two just very nice random people yeah. we didn't know who they were at the time we didn't realize <laughs> so when we actually started asking a bit more questions and they told us oh yes we're on the boat, sophisticated lady, and we're in Panama and Linton Bay. And I'll like, wait, wait, wait a minute. Are you, are you Captain Rick Moore? And then we felt kind of silly because then we were like, oh, we, we've seen your vlog before. We know who you guys are. This is kind of crazy and how serendipitous that we're meeting right now as we're about to leave Panama. It was mm. a complete stroke of chance. Yep and we just jumped in on it as yeah as humbly and uh keeping our dignity as we could yeah. hiding our excitement but yeah. it was an amazing opportunity and we just couldn't say no Yeah. Did you guys enjoy that trip? That was something else. <laughs> nice, huh? Really nice. So after meeting them in Linton Bay and getting along famously, uh, we basically went back to Panama City, packed our bags, and just came here. We just decided to just say, okay, yeah, universe, we hear you. We'll take the chance and, and we'll join them as crew and I'm really happy that we did. Yes, it's been two weeks on the boat so far. Yeah, just a little over two weeks. And it's just been an adventure every day. Yeah, we're learning a lot about boat maintenance and just kind boat of day-to-day -day life. life on the boat. And life in the marina, life at anchor, mm -hmm. just so much to take in and so much to really appreciate it's amazing it's amazing what we're doing and it's unlike anything that i've ever done before and it's incredible I have a lot of boards Hey buddy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> friends. They are so friendly. So friendly you are. So 
Restaurant or a restaurant? Yeah. Restaurant, yeah. This is they are very, very, very friendly. <laughs> huh? huh? This, there's not another one outside? Or no. no. This no. is the restaurant. That's the restaurant. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is mostly a storage facility. There's not a lot here. The first night that we met Rick and Madalena, Madalena prepared us this amazing uh, pesto. Guys, I am telling you, this thing was so good. They were really trying hard, I think, to get us to say yes to being crew by pulling out all the stops, cooking us amazing food. They spared no expense. It's true. For sure. <laughs> then we spent uh, a night on the boat and it was my first night ever sleeping on a sailboat and I slept so well. I had a great night's sleep. Mm, yeah, the rocking waves just ever, oh. ever so slightly even in the marina just puts you right to sleep. Mm -hmm. And so we decided to come on board Yep. and join the adventure. Very nice day, Capitan. Very nice. Yeah, it's a really nice area. I like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these mangrove tunnels are really, really cool. Yeah, just surrounded by nature. Can't wait till we have the electric engine. I mean, we could row, but we got four people in the dinghy. It's a little bit hard to row. We need to come back on the But it's very cool. Rowing, a little canaling, a little Italian song. Oh yeah, I'll sing for you. <laughs> it's like Venice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we could just through, come come through with a big stick. <laughs> Stand on the bow with a big <laughs> stick, like a gondola. Yeah, I know some Italian arias will serenade us. Yeah. yeah. Opera singer. Yeah. Be proper. Oh, it's very fresh and cool. Wow.
Now this little mangrove right here, yeah. this is a nesting ground for nighttime. Oh. So at sunset you'll hear a million birds in there. You can see a bunch yeah, of them on shore there now. You saw in the beach? Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, this mangrove comes alive at night like crazy. I know, it's like in Bocas del Toro, you remember? Well, there's a whole bunch on the top. The bottom here. Okay. Yeah, the bottom is very shallow. Oh, that's a nice looking ship. Yeah, this is very nice. Boat. That's traditional lines. That made a big deck on the back of <laughs> I think so. The best guy is uh, take off the banana to the <laughs> and touch down. Mm -hmm. It's so hot. <laughs> it's either raining or too hot. Uh, too much. Okay. Don't have sea well, legs yet. <laughs> we're coming time. Thank you. Am I just letting it loose like that? Yeah. Okay. As long as it's tied. <laughs> it's clipped on solid, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh. So we'll be going at it again soon. Alrighty. Yeah, we need all to Perfect. Remove something. Mission successful. Maybe. Maybe. Sure, and you need to take a towel if you... And we'll go for a beach day. So far, we've met amazing people and so such kindness and uh, generosity. It's mm -hmm. amazing. The, the cruiser's life, it's not like anything I've ever experienced before. It's such a small world. Everybody knows everybody, mm -hmm. it feels like. Yeah, I mean, we've met uh, other musicians. We've met people who solo sail and have these crazy stories like at this marina there's a pool and sometimes we go hang out at the pool and swim around and people will just walk up to you and start talking it's like we're at summer camp mm -hmm. and it's really easy to make friends exchanging stories about where you've been the the calamities you've overcome and the near misses it's just yeah. amazing hearing everybody's story it's really inspiring to to think about the resilience of all these sailors and, and what it takes to do this mm -hmm. so it's kind of it feels like we're really taking that step and becoming i don't know we're just one step closer to that goal of having our own boat and it's cool that we get to tag along on rick and maddie's adventures and learn from them learn from the masters mm -hmm, exactly or learn from the old sea dog yeah exactly except not the old sea dog that's uh, some other guy excursion number two beach time mm, swim time <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, we go back to what? Isla Grande. Yeah. We know the one beach, but I'm trying to figure out the one that Jose and Magnolia were talking about. I'm trying to pick my nose with that thing or what? <laughs> yeah, we discover it. We go to explore. Exploring the island. Sorry, what? <laughs> We're exploring the island. You sure? Yeah, yes. <laughs> It's all with me all the time. Swimming! <laughs> Interesting rig on that boat. Dual freestanding masts. Wing masts, no less. Cool. Oh, it's barely been working on Hey, man! So this boat needs a little love and care. Yeah. And windows. We're very grateful. Uh, they've been, Rick and Maddie have been so gracious with everything and just making sure that we're adjusting really well because we're total landlubbers mm -hmm. um, and making sure that we're comfortable and well fed. <laughs> in oh, particular. I don't think I don't think it's possible. Maddie will definitely. Yeah, keep Maddie. Oh, uh, she's such an amazing chef, and yeah, she told me she wants to teach me all these different recipes, and I love to cook, so it's really exciting to get to learn even that kind of stuff too. But yeah, the day to day is so different than how it was living in our little apartment in Panama City. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Much more exciting. Much more, uh, much more need to adapt every day to ever-changing conditions. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's chaos, b beautiful chaos. Beautiful chaos. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. So, we look forward to uh, seeing more of you and <laughs> participating in the in Captain Rick Moore's videos, and yeah. uh, hopefully, you'll enjoy it as much as we do. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you guys. See you guys later. <laughs> Bye. What? Wait. <laughs> two, two seconds. <laughs> Wait. I think that's what we've One, been doing. Two seconds. Is that speaker ready? Ready. <laughs> okay. Ready with the tune. Oh. Volume. Yeah, turn the disc up. There we go. Now let's see, does it go any... The bass is much better if it's on the floor.
is where you don't wanna grow up. Oh. Officially underway. We are on autopilot. Yeah, we have Ipanema with us. That's what it looks like as we clear Linton Bay. And you can see our friends on Ipanema are right behind us. Bringing up the rear.